Hello everybody, this is Jesus Primus, and I'm back with another episode of the Black Fires. I'm gonna like time take a little there we go. Sigil's back. Good. So um sorry I couldn't uh, manage to record last week. I was really ill and sounded absolutely terrible to record and I'd run out of uh, content to put up on the channel. Um we'll be fixing this in the future. Um but I'm back now. Uh, I feel much better and I probably don't sound totally terrible at the moment. That being said, uh, Damon's getting up there in age 42, uh, his son's making enemies, some friends too I suppose, but enemies, uh, and we're going to keep seeing how this goes. Small folk want to have harvest festivals, sure! And I called Daenerys to King's Landing, just cause, really. Uh, the Martell is going to keep having Martells. They usually do. Boom. Mally's Targaryen is crap. Good. You want to marry some nobody? Sure. Enjoy. What is the Belmore doing? Defending against the word tyranny from the Corbrays. That's annoying. Okay. Enjoy. But yes, the realm is much more together these days. We put the Greyjoys back under us. Everything seems to be in order. Belmores are in charge of the Reach. The Peaks of the Vale. Wrong way around to that one. Peaks are in charge of the Reach. The uh, Belmores are in charge of the Vale. I don't know why I keep flipping those. Probably because the Aryans were in charge of both of them for a little while in the series. If you would like to catch up with the series, there'll be a link. Right next to me. Cool. Keep going. Um, <clears throat> Aenys has had a daughter, Illyries. She's apparently beautiful. My son still hasn't had any heirs yet. Asshole. Oh man. So, Dagon here is going to uh, go forth and do the reading thing. You got murdered by Roderick? And then the usual. Right, okay, yeah. That's amusing. The realm is pretty stable at the moment. My mother finally died at 67 years, so we might last quite a long time, is what that means. We're both strong as it is. Dun -dun -dun, commander. Of course I need Aegon as commander. Come on. I didn't have that yet. Do uh, he's pretty good, but we won't have him for long. That'd be fine. <clears throat> Throughout the day, you cut yourself grinding your teeth and being unable to focus on anything for long. Suddenly, you realize why you've been in a bad mood all day. You just can't seem to abide having lazy people in your presence anymore. Well, make them less lazy. All right, they're here. Interesting. Yeah, right. Because she married a Blackfire. Now I'm remembering. It's been a little while. 700 ducats. As you hear my friends are doing things. Sorry about that. Steam before you, you know. And yeah, we have a buttload of money. Look into my dragon dreams. Oh man. Something's coming. Somebody's treachery has been reviewed. Revealed. Not reviewed. <laughs> <laughs> Who's plotting? All sorts of people. Valor wants to get married. I'm not granting him permission. We don't want any more Targaryens on our hands. Uh, my son, Prince Daemon, appears to have acquired a taste for the Yeetish ways. Uh, after touring many cities and foreign courts, he has arrived at the court of Prince Zhuang in Traitor Town. Daemon decided he likes it there and is said worthy he will be staying there indefinitely. So, my son's on the other side of the world right now, doing cool things, I suppose. 
all the way out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. I, I, I suppose he just likes it out there, you know? Who am I to judge? It's not like he was going to, you know, reach the throne or anything. He's the fourth in line. More. Eh. Blackfire abroad. It's interesting. The Dragon of the East. Anyway. Getting back to the part of the world that's a little less laggy. <laughs> I need a new hand. Okay. Oh yeah, Pate is becoming incapable. Bad trait to have for a hand of the king. The problem is there aren't really there are many amazingly good hands just lying around anymore. He wouldn't be too bad, but he for some reason doesn't like me. Really? Ugh. Stokeworth wouldn't be too bad, but he's a nobody. Uh, Arian wouldn't be too bad, but he's Targaryen. Well, Dragon Rider. This is why we're continuing to uh, be cautious about Targaryens in this one, because I don't want more Targaryen Dragon Riders lying around. I'm gonna put Pate back to being Hand of the King. I don't care that he's incapable. It's a time of peace, after all. We don't need a strong hand, right? It's not like there's a Dragon White Rider in the Damn Rings. Uh, no, you're you're not getting a Targaryen. You're not getting a Blackfire under you. Sorry, you're just not. Oh yeah, this is my jam. Oh, raiders are coming. Let's smash them. Take a Targaryen along. Maybe we'll die in battle. Pay him off. I find it hilarious that I set up a devil worshipper in the uh, reach. That's amusing to me. Uh. Huh. The Lannister died. It's now left to a 14 year old girl. Is she the last Lannister? No. Just the last of this lot. Then they'll fl throw over to cousins. Okay. There's a tournament at Stokeworth. Of course I'm going. Moros. Cool. I just need a new advisor. I'll take uh, Martell. Make her happy. We're smashing them. That's what I expected. And sadly, no Targaryens were hurt in the making of this film. Oh. G Gormand got murdered. Great. By this one. Probably for being a fucking devil worshiper. You know, reasons. Great. Uh, I need a new spy master. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Hayford's not too bad. He likes us. Okay, cool. Ready my horse. And go against flowers. Hit! I've wounded him. Accidentally, of course. A fine hit. No one can beat me. Ah, the Royce. Hit. And trying to knock him off. Another hit. Come on, let's get him. Hey, another, another, another hit. A fine hit. Good. No one can beat me. Uh, of course there's a bloody rebellion. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, he's got that. So, Wilbur's is on who is this? Sir Duncan, whoever he might be. Guys, that's Duncan the Tall. Look at him. Ahem. <clears throat> And uh, we're, we're, we're getting ready on that one. I'm going to make you a uh, important character because I know who you are. Duncan Egg novels, guys. Uh, and we got unhorsed. Of course, because I mentioned Duncan the Tall, I get unhorsed. Ugh. Always next time. That being said, I did alright. 
third round. Not bad. Get better. Alright. Interesting. Uh, now it becomes the actual rebellion. Who's rebelling? Stop your shit, Rowan. It's fine competition. Good. Fucking Rowan's. Yeah, Blackfires have clearly s solidified their position, as I can tell people to stop rebelling. <laughs> uh, pick one up, manager. Come on, Aegon. Wait, Aegon got a name for himself? Aegon, the hero of Maidenpool. Clearly, he kicked ass repelling those uh, invaders. That's good to know. Glad to know that at least one of my sons isn't a fucking disappointment. Uh, my septum's dead. These things happen. This next one appears to be a master seducer. Oh god damn it! <laughs> uh, the high septon is a dirty dog. Oh, he died. Crap. Who are we gonna use? His hand. Um. So the hand of the king is determined by both uh, diplomacy and stewardship. So I. You know, some of these guys are really good stewards, so the game thinks they'll make a good hand of the king, but they won't. You need both. Um, so that's why I'm passing over Varner and Darkling and Faring and all those guys with no diplomacy. Uh, Crab isn't terrible. There's really no great options, but I'm going to go with this Thorn because at least he has good diplomacy. And his stewardship isn't terrible, but it's kind of trash. So, sadly, there's just no Tywin Lannisters anymore, or at the moment. Edwin's still dealing with problems. Of course, he is. I'm being said, are there more peaks? He is a gr he is a daughter who's ugly. Oh, great, <laughs> good to know. Uh, Upcliff has died of pneumonia. No. I liked his sigil. Bring me the greatest knights. Another upcliff. I am tempted. Melody's strong. Very interesting choice. That dude made more of us. Um, I'm between the upcliff and strong. Strong is the better dueler. This one's genius, however. They're both ten. No, this one's eight. Mm. I'm gonna go with upcliff because his relative was on our king's guard and his sigil is amazing and he's a good duelist my house needs me more of course they do fuck you up cliff bring me the greatest knights there's nobody ellie strong uh, well I, I i guess i'm going with Millie strong there we go king's guard do nothing for now and Batari's Targaryen is coming for me. Bring it. So, there's a Targaryen in the wings. Good. Hmm. That should be very interesting to deal with. When is he coming for us? In two years. Good to know. First up, can we just murder this kid? Just gonna look. Let's let's take a look. What are our odds to just murder this punk? Oh, yeah, we can do that. Just bribe a couple guys. This this dude could be dead. Uh, that being said, it feels a little cheap to just murder him. I want to fight him. Makes the series more interesting if we just you know keep fighting Targaryens, right? This so actually might be a bit of a problem if he gets uh, one of his siblings that is the Dragon Rider on his side and a couple of other things like this. It could actually be a, a decent rebellion. Heron Hall just keeps picking up more people. Why didn't Danella get it? Oh, she was disinherited because she married a 
backfire. Right, yeah, I remember now. Okay. A Warden of the West. Alright, she's good Lord of the West, even if she's a lady. Oh, she's shrewd. That's interesting. You need to be protected by a member of the King's Guard because you're the Lord of Moat Kalen, apparently. Just do me a favor and make me east so we have a Blackfire. More paramount in the north. Just just do it. Okay, um who to send? Tempting, but he's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna send strong. Uh, we might need our King's Guard <laughs> pretty soon. Oh boy, the Reach is just terribly in civil war. Um stop. You're, you're you're stopping this. Good. Idiots. One in the south should go to the Lord of the Reach, even if he does keep making me, you know, defend his ass in civil wars. Uh, boy. Party time. Interesting. Pretty soon that Targaryen should be coming. Fifteen. Nineteenth of December in fifteen. I'm going to keep going until the Targaryens actually get here. I'm going to make a stop there, and we'll fight the Targaryens next time. But, you know, I'm going to keep going until that, so we can start with killing some Targaryens. Reward them. Sorry, I just had to read that one. 860 gold. Jeez. We have Megella here. And another tourney. Just continual tourneys and parties until eventually a Targaryen gets here, right? It's good to be king. And people getting murdered. Really? D dude, stop just murdering people. <laughs> I might have picked the wrong house. <laughs> Sir Herrig. Hit. Party time! Knock him off. Oh boy. This time I'll strike! Hit! A fine hit. None can beat me. Alright. Brought up port pieces and suggest we play a few rounds to determine who's the better strategist. Has to be me. I'm gonna print a sport gamer. Okay. Oh. Great, we're yet to Red Tusk. Oh boy, he's gonna kick our ass, isn't he? Yeah. Damn it, Red Tusk. No one can beat me except Red Tusk. Vlar Targaryen is going off against the Corp, right? Dedicate all my free time to games now and become game master and gain a martial couple of diplomacy. Not, not bad. Or you just say it was fun and get some prestige. I'm going to go with Game Master, just because it's hilarious. I could use someone to train with, become buddies with this Northman. Okay. That sounded like an awful way to die. Uh, he, he got murderized. So the Lordship Antlers goes to this one. Interesting. Come on. Just a couple more years here. We have a pile of money. Someone's trying to kill Damon. But he's way the hell over there. Who's trying to kill Damon? No idea. Not 900. Great. Just piles of money. Oh, what can I do with my giant piles of money? Oh, build up the red keep. Yeah, that sounds like an idea. I build a castle on uh, Driftmark or Dragonstone. Ooh, it's tempting. I'll go prove my worth. A child needs a focus. Uh, she's pretty good at courtly things. Let's go for etiquette. Glory Storm. Do, do. Oh, it's 15 now. 
You want to go serve the seven. Go right ahead. Don't have kids. Go, go, go. Ready my horse. It's Harry's is the one that's coming for me. Steady. Flora apparently didn't join him. Interesting. Stop this shit. Come on, Baratheon. Hit. Knock him off this time. Hit. Fine hit. No one can beat me. And Red Tusk again. Great. Only Red Tusk could beat me. Good to know. Fought well. I lose some stewardship. Great. It's not like I had a lot of that. Oh boy. Pile of money, and it's May. They're coming in December. Just prove my worth. It's just the continual feasting and t tournaments, man. It's, it's great to be king. Ready my horse. Steady. Hit! Oh, come on. Can I finally beat Red Tusk? Nope. This time I'll strike. Hit! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Good. Finally beat his ass. Now we get to beat this punk. Oh, boy. Really? We finally beat Red Tusk and the next guy eliminates us. What the hell? And Flowers makes it. Good enough. August. Come on, let's get to December. September. Boop, boop, boop. Interesting. October. Come on. Uh, do nothing for the moment. November. Take foreign bogs is my word. Why not? Get those going. November. Arian is getting better. That's good. Do, 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 do. December. Damn it, Targaryen. Get here already. 15th? Where are you? What What happened to him? Um, I think there's a glitch. He, he should be attacking me. Why isn't he attacking me? Targaryens are just afraid to come at us. It's, it's clearly it. First Blood Raven didn't come, and now this one doesn't come. Fools. Anyhow, I'll leave it here for this uh, segment. As we've waited a long time for Targaryens to come, and they just don't. Quite annoying, really. Anyhow, a um, little bit of a plug here. My parent company, uh, Stair Strategy Publishing, would be the link to the other YouTube channel on my uh, main page, is doing a podcast this week. It will be uh, debuting on Thursday. Um, so if you guys want to come check that out, it will be quite interesting. Uh, I know pieces of it will uh, end up up here, but the full length of the podcast will be on their channel. Thank you all for watching. I've been Strategic Primus, and this has been The Blackfires. See you later.